the value of soil. Soil is wonderful. Well, of course, we live on it. And if it is fertile, it can produce marvelous things. Fertile soil puts food on our plate. But the number of plates is growing, and more and more meat ends up on these plates. And part of what we previously put on our plates, we now put into our petrol tanks. This again requires more fertile soil. Productive land is becoming scarce. In 1960, there was still almost half a hectare of farmland for every person on Earth. In 2020, there will be only around a third of that left. Consequently, even unsuitable land is being turned into farmland. No wonder land grabbing is on the rise. Fertile soil is precious, but instead of looking after it, we try to extract the maximum yield from it. But overusing land or cultivating unsuitable land leads to soil degradation. We need healthy soil to produce crops and timber and store and purify water. Soil provides us and our environment with important ecosystem services. Degraded soil makes us vulnerable. Unsustainable land management is sometimes the result of ignorance and it sometimes results from poverty, where land users have no other choice. Land degradation is driven by things like cutting down forests, overgrazing, monoculture, salination, overuse of fertilizers and chemicals, or farming on sloping ground leading to soil erosion. Not to forget climate change, which alters the drought and rain patterns. But not only does climate change contribute to soil degradation, soil degradation also worsens climate change because degraded soil can store less carbon. But why does all of this matter so much? Well, because it takes 2,000 years to generate about 10 centimeters of topsoil. That is a long time. Soil is a practically non-renewable resource whose over-exploitation is costing us dearly. For example, Niger loses approximately 8% of its gross domestic product to overgrazing and excessive salinity in rice paddy fields. Solving these problems through sustainable land management would save two-thirds of this money. Globally, soil degradation is an expensive business. Already it costs every person on Earth $70 each year, which in total is about $490 billion. To this, one needs to add the indirect costs of environmental and humanitarian disasters, such as water shortages, yield shortfalls or dust storms. The consequence is damage to health, forced migration, famine and eventually conflict. But how can we prevent this? First of all, it is very difficult to take all these possible consequences into account in planning processes because it is so hard to recognize the true costs of our inaction. With the right figures, we could make the right decisions. We have to include the value of the sold services and the cost of land degradation into our calculation. Then it becomes obvious that using soils in the way that most of us do today is simply not economically viable in the long run. To solve this problem, we set up the Economics of Land Degradation Initiative, ELD. We want to find out more about these actual costs by bringing together scientists, decision makers in politics and industry, and local land users. And we want to take a global approach. How high are the costs of inaction? What are the potential benefits of adopting sustainable land management practices? What needs to be done? Land degradation has to stop. Knowledge about the costs must be passed on and become part of the decision-making processes. Sustainable land management isn't free, but in the long term it is the much cheaper option. It is the only way to preserve one of mankind's most precious assets. The wonderful, fertile soil.